Welcome back, Kumas, to another reaction. You are here with Kuma. I can, as you can see by the thing on the back of my bed, it hasn't changed, so it's the same day. But we're starting with Fuyuhiko and Smoking Pot. So we know this is going to be a hard hitter. So, uh, <laughs> no pun intended, but let's get started. I can't smoke pot because it's the same thing. I'm too old for it. Sometimes young people come up to me after shows. Hey, do you want to smoke some pot? I'm like, can I get my portion to smoke without you alone later? Because... <laughs> I don't want to stand in a parking lot with some 20-year-olds. <laughs> Last time I got high, I was in Kansas City, and I got high because I was in Kansas City, and it was <laughs> shitty. So after the show, the, so these kids that worked at the club, they're like, you want to smoke some pot? I'm like, yes. So I'm standing in a parking lot with these kids, like 20 years old, and we're smoking a joint. And I'm taking huge hits because I had no idea. I didn't know they'd been working on this shit like it's the cure for cancer. I didn't understand. <laughs> the fucking technology that's got into making pot so powerful. Because when I was a kid, you could just smoke a joint for a while. Now you take two hits and you go insane. <laughs> it's not doable anymore. And I, and I was taking big hits, like big 1970s jean jacket bad company hits. Wow. Here come the jesters! One, two, three! I'm like, yeah. And even the kid with the wooden hole of no ear, the absence of flesh in his ear with wood, I don't know what that is. I didn't get that either. Even he was like, that, you should be careful. That's a lot of pot. That's very strong marijuana. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Run it with the devil! Just fucking... And in about 10 seconds, everything just... Beep. Beep. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> this is an ordeal now. <laughs> I'm not going to feel okay for a very long time. <sighs> And everybody's just standing around and talking, and I'm hoping, like I'm really hoping, that I look like this. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that I was just scanning insanely. <laughs> oh my god. I was actually counting, like, Look at her for five, four, three, two, one. Switch to him. Five, four, three, two. Just randomize. Don't go in the same direction. Five, four, three. Nod your head. That looks like you're listening. If you nod your head. Ha, ha, ha. Paranoid as shit. And at one point I realized I need to get out of here because the air is hitting my arm weirdly and they can tell. They totally know that I'm not handling the way air is touching my arm right now. Why am I doing that with my hand? That's weird to do that with your hand. Nobody stands like this. Nobody stands like this. Just fucking... No, that's also... That's weird, too. That's crazy. Just... Shit. I gotta go. But I didn't know how to leave because I had this dilemma. We're all standing in a perfect circle facing each other. And I thought, it's gonna be insane if I just turn my... I'm one person with my back now. Do I just back away like this and hope that they fill in? And then I thought, no, say something. Say something out loud to them that smooths the transition of you leaving. Okay, what do I say? Pick a thing to say. Goodbye. That's a, that's a nightmare. That's a just goodbye. That's not even, that's just noises. Finally, I walked away and I said, I'm leaving! And I... I know it was that bad, because they all went, oh, shit, okay, all right, whoa. Like, I'll never see those people again as long as I live. And then I had to get in the car. I forgot that I had rented a car, and I have to drive back to the hotel. And I'm driving on this highway in Missouri. And at one point I realized, I think it's been about 25 minutes since I looked out the front window of this car. I've just been dealing with shit directly in. <laughs> I 
Oh, shit. There's a whole spectrum of responsibility out here. I'm supposed to take part in this. And then at one point, I remember I was at a drive-thru, and I was terrified, because there's a lady sticking her head out a window, and she's mad. She's going, sir, sir. And I just kept saying, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I had the window closed. I had no fucking idea. What part of the transaction am I? Did I pay yet? Have I ordered? Did I, have I been sitting here for 40 minutes just eating? At the window and I ate the paper and everything? <laughs> Sir! And I just went, I know, I don't want it! And I just fucking bolted. <laughs> so I can't do that anymore. So there I was with a friend in the city, right? And um, we uh, went to get a snack, and they've got this snack. I forget what it's called, but it's more or less a flat-pressed chicken. Literally a flat-pressed chicken. So you're more or less eating an entire roast chicken that's flat-pressed and deep-fried. And uh, we're sitting in the park, and we're eating it. And I'm like, this doesn't taste so good, but, you know, my friend brought me here, and I'm eating this chicken. You know, it would be insulting to complain about the chicken. And uh, he's like looking at me and he's like, oh, wow, you know, you're only halfway done. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm chewing. It takes a little while. And he's like, are you eating the bones? And I'm just like, I was chewing the fucking bones. <laughs> and I didn't say shit. Ah, Fuyuhiko plays hide and seek. My daughter is really something else, man. She's, she runs the house. She runs the whole house. She decides everything. Like, we were playing hide-and-seek the other day. We play hide-and-seek, and we play by her rules that she invented. And do you know why? Because she sucks at hide-and-seek. Sounds hide like the seek. government. And so she covers it with this fucking ruse to level the playing field. And I gotta fucking pretend it's all that she's great. No, it's bullshit. Like, we're playing... Oh, fucking... I know she's a kid, but fucking listen. When it's my turn to hide, she tells me where to hide. She tells me where. She goes, hide in the closet, Papa. But you're going to know where I... Hide in the closet! All right, fuck, I'll hide in the closet. Good, fine. Now I'm standing in the closet like an asshole. She comes in, I found you. She's like shitty about it, like, I found you. And I'm like, wow. How did you figure out where you told me to fucking hide? <laughs> and then when she hides, this is her hiding. She goes over to a wall and does this. She goes, <laughs> that's it. There's nothing here. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like this is some ninja invisibility crouch. And I gotta act like an idiot. I can't just walk in and go, yeah, you're there. Cause she'll cry and shit her mm. pants, right? So I gotta walk around like an asshole. Where is she? I have no idea. Where could she be? I'm making eye contact. I don't so see bad. her. It's amazing to me. The other day we're playing, this is how things have gotten in my house, okay? Here's a very good example of where it's gone. We're playing a version of hide and seek where my wife and I have to decide together where to look. She likes that. She's like, Mama, you tell Papa where to look. Okay, well, fine. So she's over there hiding like this, just in plain sight. And my wife and I, <laughs> my wife's like, why don't you look under the bed? I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> she's not there. And then she says, why don't you look in the linen closet? Okay, so I open the closet. She goes, that's not the linen closet. We don't put that in there anymore. <laughs> all right, fucking Jesus. All right, I'll look <laughs> So I look in it. Why would she be in that closet? That has shelves. She can't stand in a shelf. Well, maybe she's crawled in a shelf. Now we're having a fight about where to look for this fucking kid who's standing right there. <laughs> Is that what it's like to be married? Because fuck that. This is some good quality shit. Hey! Hey, do robots have to- and there we go. There we go. No, they don't. They have a USB port. Hey! 
That smile and hair reminds me of something. She's like Oscar, but with less reddish hair. 